Dude, I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little overwhelmed. Where was this guy? He was supposed to be meeting us. Probably we have to wait a while for him to turn up. Whoa! It's an airship. It's a ship that floats in the... Is this your... Is it not that smell? You are a colleague of Orion, Rakish, no? you're the person I'm supposed to be meeting. You arrived in st... Can I buy that from you? Please? You arrived in style. Yes, you the did. Ah, a fine prize in our growing victories against the Thalmor. We call her the Deva Veza. Elsewhere has great troubles. During the First Dominion, Elsewhere was a protector of the Agmiri Dominion. A reluctant ally, if you will. And now that the Dominion has risen once more, it seeks to bring Elsewhere under its thumb once again. There are those of us who would not have this. Yes, that sounds terrible! Um. So Rakis happens upon this relic a number of years ago, brings it into his safekeeping. But word spreads swiftly on the worn winds of Elsewhere, and now the Thalmor seek to obtain it. Uh, dude? Every piece of power they get their hands on brings them that much closer to dominating all of Tamarind. Dude, there's an invisible... So Rakis gives to you the Staff of Indaris, so that you may safe keep it, and keep it from the clutches of the Thalmor. Dude. That will teach you to steal from the Thalmor. On the authority of the Almeri Dominion, you will hand over that Staff. Uh... Give it to me now, and we can pretend this whole thing never happened. Otherwise, you'll meet the same fate as your furry friend here. Um, I'm gonna go with... No! So be it. Oh, so... oh I don't think I'm... Impossible. But that went pretty well. That went pretty well? What do you mean that went pretty well? Does, does this mean we can keep the ship? I mean... Oh, please tell me this means we can keep the ship. He gave us a staff. He gave us a staff. Okay. He gave us a staff. The Thalmor want the st Oh, yes. I... Dev Aveza Cabin. Okay. Is there anyone else here? Does did he have friends? Excuse me, my friend. Do you... Okay. Please tell me we can keep this. Please tell me we can keep this. It's got. It's got a. It's got a bed, it's got stuff. It does have st Whoa. Wait, does this... Is this... Somehow sharing... Smuggler... Smuggler's hold. Smelter... There's a smuggler's hold. What? Thracian Plague Sword and Sanim Who's Sanim Sanamir? Twelfth of Sun's Dawn. I've managed to come across a curious set of ancient schematics for the storeroom near Mzurft, which has a chamber roughly rubbed off the chart. As if an extra chamber was present but hidden. Based on the chart, it looks like the chamber is in the south end of the storeroom. Mzulft. That's in Skyrim, isn't it? Okay. There's a there's a place in Mzulft. Thracian Plague Sword. That looks kind of ugly, but also... Okay. How do we... 
All right, okay. We got work benches. We've got chests. We've got... We got a living space here of sorts. It's a small one. And... Oh, God, can we, can we drive this anywhere? Manual of the Dev of Eza. Oh, my God. The Manual of the Dev of Eza. The Dev of Eza airship is a highly advanced piece of Altma technology. A conglomeration of classic nautical construction with advanced Dwemer science and Altma magic. This aerial fortress will make a perfect central base of operations for all your adventures. To use the ship, simply plot your course using the maps in the cabin, then activate the ship's wheel on deck, and the ship will be flown to your destination. If you stray from your ship or forget where you've docked, Okay, you can find it on your map. The places you dock will utilize gangplank while others will require use of a rope ladder on the opposite side. We can fly this around places? We can fly to... Labyrinthium, Markarth, Solitude. R are you kidding me? So I could just... Heading set the riff. And then we could go to Rift and we could just. Before we go to Rift, before we just. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Right. There are some dead bodies. On, uh, on the dock. There are some dead bodies on the dock. There are... Yes. Let's... Dock. Uh, this, which is what this is now. We, we've got... Rakis. Poor Rakis. Who... Uh, okay. Ganalian Sonorian. Thalmor Cloak. Do I have one of those? Elven Dagger. I'm pretty sure I've got all of... Oh, no, I've not got... I have got Thalmor robes, I just... I don't... I've got hooded Thalmor robe. You know what? Just... This never happened. Okay, I've cleared. Okay, I need to tell Orion about this before I wander, wander off to bloody Rift and just, just, just. I, I, I think I've left Inigo on, on the, on the boat, ship, airship. If I sound a little um, confused, would be the wrong word. Um, off balance. That's because I am extremely off balance. Apparently, I've just got a... I got a staff. I got a staff for the museum. And... Okay, let's just calm down. Let's calm down. I got a staff. Staff of Indaris strikes the target with a bolt of natural energy, damaging health and magicka. May also stagger the target. Right, I got that. I also found... Sanima's journal, who said there is something in Mazulf, a storeroom. Oh, it's near to Mazulf. And it's been rubbed off the chart. But it's an extra chamber. And there could be something there. There could be something there. Huh. Okay, dude, dude. Would be Good day. I'm having trouble lo locating the artifact. I might, what? Are, no, 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 no. You've told me about an artifact, but I haven't even gone looking for it. Farewell. Um, the guy you said to me is dead. And, um, he was assassinated by huh. a Thalmor agent. Would be bigger than that. And we now have a flying ship. Can I keep it? Say nothing if the answer is yes. Hmm. hmm. I'm going to take hmm as nothing. Hmm's good enough. That's, that's close enough to nothing. We're keeping it. In a go. We just... We gotta go and see... Oh, God. 
if we like try and steer this only it turns out it needs some arcane knowledge beyond my capabilities am i going to crash it into it's worth the risk it is so worth the risk it's really really worth the risk okay i'm, I'm gonna say this again because i i i I feel like if I say it enough times, the reality will hit home. I have a flying ship. I think. I've plotted a course for Riften. I have plotted a course for Riften. Here goes. Okay, okay. This, this is Riften. I'm in Riften. I'm flying above Riften. I'm flying above Riften. Hello, Riften. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Just, 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 just disembark. I, oh my God. I think I'm blocking the sunlight out. It, it. No, it's it's just night time. I am, however, causing a big shed. Shed. My first act as the Thane of Riften is to return with a flying ship. Seriously, no one's going to make a comment. No one's going to say, ooh, a flying bloody ship. My God, your Thaniness, you are awesome. Really? Or are you just all stunned into awed silence by it? That is what I'm going to assume. Awed. Dude, we have a flying ship. No, I'm going to be stood here quite a long time, I'm afraid, Inigo. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to just stare at it right now I'm um yeah now that I'm calming down though I'm beginning to think perhaps it was a bad idea to take it for a quick ride I should probably have considered all my options and perhaps come up with a well a reason for why I now have a flying ship and can just fly to Riften so that you know, people didn't ask the wrong sort of questions. I'm also thinking I might not want to leave it hovering around in Rift and someone might think, ooh, look, a flying ship, I shall have that. In fact, all things considered right now, I think the safest place for this is right here. This is probably one of the most secure locations I've ever been. So maybe we just leave it here. I say that, although an assassin did manage to sneak around here. He was invisible. But yeah, maybe maybe we just leave it here for a while. And um let let the whole I have a flying ship thing sink in. in. In the meantime, I do have some other things to do later. I think I'm going to take these excavator perks just so I get more I don't have any archaeology perk points to spend. Okay, so I'll start getting more things when I excavate stuff, and hopefully that will get me more perks. I, I fancy finding out what Relic Hunter is. Do you think any of these indicate places I should visit? Possibly... Or more likely, they 
indicate holds. Yes. All right. You know what? I'm 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 going to bed. It's been a it's been it's been a day, and then some. Now that I've calmed down, I think the best course of action here is one of nonchalance. Kind of like with Shadowmere. You know, I mean, I'm riding around with a horse that has glowing red eyes. And we just sort of act like it's perfectly normal and everyone else seems to accept it as normal. Maybe that's why the people of Riften didn't actually freak out when I flew in to town. Maybe they just figured, oh, well, he's a Jarl now. He's probably always had a floating ship, but now he's a Jarl, he's got permission to bring it here. Maybe that kind of makes sense. We probably shouldn't fly this into Whiterun or Solitude, at least until we've gained the favor of the Jarl there. And honestly, I sort of feel like leaving it here for a while is a good idea anyway. Let people get used to the idea that there's a bloody great floating ship nearby. You know, just wait until everyone's completely comfortable with it, which will probably be some time after I get comfortable with it. I'm still a little freaked out by that. I mean, it's a large ship floating. It's unbelievably cool. Okay. Nonchalance. It's just a flying ship. Everyone should have one. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, we should probably mention it to Jarl Elisif, but again, nonchalant. We'll just say, oh, you, you may have noticed the ship there. I, I hope it isn't blocking your view. Either she's going to be really impressed with it, or she's going to have us brutally executed. I'm not sure which, but perhaps I will have invisibility potions at hand when we go to see her. Now, I do have a list of people I need to recruit. Guild leads. Eriana, an imperial young lady who came by the museum one day to offer her services in brokering the sale and purchase of artifacts. She brokered the purchase of Thornblade, in fact. That's from the ones in the main hall. And has supplied a few things I've needed for prepping displays and always seems to make good on her end of the deal. She may make a fitting quartermaster. Interesting. She's travelled around and based herself around the Night Gale Inn as of late. A lot of people end up there, don't they? Professor Patero Marassi, an older Bosma gentleman and a colleague of mine from some years back. He's an expert archaeologist and much more a field operations man than I am. I had considered him for position as the chief relic hunter of the museum before you came along, but he wasn't interested in travelling at that point. I received a le letter that he was going to be staying with a friend in Whiterun for a while and he's reconsidered becoming involved with the museum. I think he would make a perfect chief of archaeology. So he would be over here in this place, I guess. Here's some other people you may want to keep an eye out for in your travels. I'm uncertain where to find them, but if you do come across them, try to remember their names, as I think they may have some potential to offer the guild. Kira Oldenson, Nord, X Minor. Okay. Where would a miner live? There are a few mining places dotted around. Madras. Dark Elf, who seemed obsessed with Dwemer law, spent an entire day in the Hall of the Lost Empires taking notes and talking to himself. Seems harmless enough, though. Dwemer law. Might find him at Markarth, maybe? Latoria. Khajiit woman. Mage college dropout with an academic passion. Should I check? winter hold maybe good luck my friend i hope you can manage to find some of these people we will do our best should i take the explorers guild charter with me i probably should let's take it 
Yes, I was thinking of taking the money. So probably we'll get a quartermaster, and he'll he'll hang around here. Her? No, she. It was a. It was. It was. Oh wait. There are other things that. Are... These are actually specific uh, items, aren't they? We can put. Oh, I can open it. Malrus Codex, Alexi's key. Oh. Uh, Sextant, Spyglass, Alvaro's tools, Luca's pickaxe. These! Oh god, I don't have the item needed. No, I did Patchwork clock. Oh! So there are some items out there. Probably very valuable to archaeologists? Could be. Explorer dig finds. Now, I have actually made a couple of items in the archaeology workstation. I did make some just playing around. I don't quite know what happened to them, to be honest. I can't even remember what it was I made. I should probably have paid attention. It didn't seem important at the time. Now it kind of does. All right, so we've got a bunch of people to recruit. Yes, we do. We will keep our eyes open for them. But right now, I actually want to go to the palace and A, check that nobody wants to be killed for that. But also check that I'm still a Thane or no one's annoyed with me for becoming the Thane of Riften. And probably I should speak to Falk. Oh, I've got also, I've got some items I need to get enchanted. Oh, it's the middle of the day again. I have got to remember to go to the palace sometime in the evening to get all of that enchanting done. I want to get you some muffle boots. I want to get you muffle boots, and I actually want to get some alchemy um, jewelry. Yes, I do. That does actually remind. Excuse me. That reminds me. Before we go to the palace, I just want to check with the um, with the alchemy table what I. Yep, pretty sure she's going to have noticed that. So I definitely want to take Physician. This will give me 50% more healing on my healing. I'm going to need that for sure. I assume... Okay, health! It's also for Fortify. Would, would Regenerate also be affected? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm taking it. And I now need to see what I can make in the restore department. Um, ooh, night hyper. Oh, I should probably make shum. Shum? I should make shum. I should probably stop shampling the goods whilst I'm uh, making stuff. Um, what was I doing? Restore health. Right. Okay. With all of the alchemy gear I've got at the moment, and this perk, I can restore 139 points of health. I still can't make potions as good as the ones I find. Forget the ones that... I've got a few potions that actually cure all of your health. But even the, like, extreme ones and ultimate ones are, like, 150. I still can't match those. Now, I can get a few other alchemy pieces made. I've got 100 skill. I now have all of the perks I could possibly have. If I get a few more pieces of uh, alchemy um, jewelry, I should be able to make something that restores more than 150. That is what I need. Yes, it is. Out of curiosity, what about regenerate health? What is that now? 139% faster. That is a big boost. Yes, it is. How does that compare to... Yeah, 90. I mean, I'm pretty good at the other ones, but that is nice. Whilst I'm here, though, I think I should just make a few more... I don't know. Nighteye, for example. Because I've got a load of glow dust now. And I usually mix it with resist shock. Yes. 
Okay, here goes Operation. Let's hope like hell Yarl Elisif is not peeved at us. Yeah. I mean, it's a flying ship. I mean, you'd think people would like one of those floating around their city. It does seem to suggest... Steward, I have an idea that might help to bolster the morale of our people in this difficult time. I think we shall have a grand parade and let General Tullius march his troops from the Blue Palace to Castle Dower in all their finery. She's not mentioning the ship. Uh, fine idea, my yard. However, I would suggest we wait until uh, the war has ended. After all, the general needs his soldiers out in the field, fighting battles against the Stormcloaks. Okay, um, so... Hello, Jan Elisif. I thought I'd just... See you. Well, that's nice. I just came to say good morning, that's all, and hope you don't mind the flying ship. Um, yeah. Um, don't worry, it's, it's perfectly safe. Uh, you can have a ride on it sometime if you want. Um, good talking to you. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and talk to Falk. I'm still a the thing, right? Must have found you. He did. Uh, okay. You sent a message about Wolf Skull Cave? Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Potema escaped. We've encountered some of her minions. Okay. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding, but I need you to go talk to him, to see if Steer can tell us what to do next. Who is Steer? Why me? And just, just, I mean, I'm still a thane, right? Why me? I mean, just. I'm not really sure. Steer thinks you have some sort of link to Potema. I trust his judgment on this. As a priest of Arche, he's had to deal with necromancy before. Nothing as dangerous as Potema, though. I have a link to Potema. Are you kidding me? <coughs> oh. Who is Steer? He's Solitude's priest of Arche. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. And he'll be able to break this link with me, yes? Fine, I'll figure something out. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. <gasps> if I was careful, I wouldn't be in this situation, would I? Priest of Arche, where is the Priest of Arche? going to be found um you would have th thought at the temple maybe let's have a look the queen awakened oh Falka sent me to steer in solitude's hall of the dead uh that hall of the dead that's the church just down there isn't it oh Okay. I don't know about you, I'm not that keen on having a link to Potema. I was going to ask the them to find somebody else to deal with it. You know, seeing as I'd kind of done rather a lot, but I'm not at all. Yes, Hall of the Dead. I'm not at all happy about this link thing. Can I help you? Steer. You must be the one Falk spoke so highly of. Welcome. Oh, well, it's nice that he spoke highly of me. Is the man who was executed buried here? Uh, how long have you... T uh, no, not no small talk. Falk sent me to talk to you about Potema. Ah, Potema. Former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. Okay. Oh, God, it wouldn't be volume six, would it? I really need... Focus. Um, and now that Potema has returned. 
summoned in spirit form, is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, the Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Her own catacomb. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you want me to do this alone? The catacombs? You mean here? You mean here? In, in solitude. She's here. Wait, you want me to do this alone? Why can't I go in with, like, I don't know, several thousand soldiers? Yes. I had Falk call you back because you were at the summoning. You have a connection to Potema now. You must deal with her. I can provide you with help for her minions, though. This should help you deal with the catacombs themselves. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by RK. Okay, how long have you... What do I need... What do I need to know about her? A curious figure. Unrepentantly evil and nasty, of course, but also astonishingly brilliant and obviously quite a necromancer at her end. She was always so close to being Empress, but despite her machinations, it was never to be hers. Ironically, if she were alive today, she'd be the only living member of the Septim bloodline. By all rights, she would now be Empress. Right, but she's not alive, she's dead. And the Arche bless you with a long life. It doesn't look like he intends to at the moment, does it? Where are these catacombs? I, I was really hoping to just palm this off on someone else, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to get this done. Right, so the Temple of the Divines. Yeah. I'm, I'm not happy about having a connection to Queen Paterma, but I'm not exactly thrilled about having her as a neighbor either. I mean, I've only just got a house here in solitude. And I'm afraid the only thing that drives the housing prices down more than rats and other natural disasters would be an infestation of necromancers. Hey, wanna play tag? Fresh fish. And possibly Fresh children. Wait, he taught me turn undead whilst we were talking, all casual like. He just said, I have something to help you, and then I knew. Is it me, or does everybody learn spells this quickly? I mean, I just seem to read a book or have somebody say, Oh, by the way, here's how you cast a spell that will drive undead off. It's this easy. Is it just me? Because it seems to me that learning spells is so easy, small children would be doing it non-stop. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? Uh, don't really know. You could tell me what that sound is. You look uh, troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Not exactly. Do I have any of these that I have not... Oh, it's... It's the, that. Do I have any of these I've not activated? Forgive me for what I have done. Give me the strength to repay my debts in this life. Oh, is that what it's supposed to do? Okay. Uh, forgive me, Mara, for I need this item in my museum. Okay, I I've now prayed to all of the divines and memorized their statues, which should mean we can recreate them in the museum. I've also made sure RK was the last one, because it gives me a bit of a boost to health. Now, um... I'm guessing... Oh, you know what? I have a feeling I've been here before. Yes. Okay, then. I suppose we sh... Oh! Night vision. How Do I still have night vision running? No, I don't. Yeah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. You know what? Oh, close, close the door. We don't want people... I 
actually, you know what? Maybe someone will go and clear the mess up for us whilst we're uh, whilst we're out. Uh, let's go and use the alchemy bench in uh, in the alchemist shop and take night vision and various other enhancements. Resist fire, frost, magic, and shock. That should be useful, and it'll last about 15 minutes. I've got some fortifies, and more importantly, I've got almost four hours of night eye and an hour and a half of regeneration on health and stamina. That should be nice. So, one of Patema's servants broke through there. Do you think that's where the strange noise is coming from? It's a little... Well... Tingly. I mean... With necromancers, you would think the sound would be like, or something like that, you know, like, like deep and menacing, not ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a ling Just doesn't work, does it? I mean, you know, it's like Queen Paterma the Fairy. Somehow, I don't think she's going to be granting us our wishes. Unless our wish is to have our faces ripped off and eaten. And I don't know about you, Inigo. That is not on my bucket list. I tell you what. Why don't you... What do you need? ...to stay here? Okay, do not take too long. It's quite... It's quite bright. I can't hear anything. Oh, now... Oh, no, you know what? We... We may be meeting live things. Now, ordinarily, I'd go with... Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. 50% movement reduction damages. That's a hugely damaging... Po oh, it's already poisoned. I've obviously not been hitting very many people recently. Probably don't need poisons on this. Okay. Ah. I'm not sure why, but that looks very, um, secret passagey. Yes, it does. A little darker. Which is oddly reassuring. Okay, how exactly am I supposed to? You've arrived at last. The hero who prevented me from being bound returns to my fold. I have much to thank you for, little one. When you die, I will raise you. And you can take your place by my side. You'll serve me soon enough. Oh. Oh, this is not good. I am with you. Good. What was that blue thing? What was that blue? Am I st No, I'm not. What was that blue thing? Stop doing that, really. You look that. Never mind. Alright. I, I got, I got, like, blue stuff all over me. 
Is that Queen Patema then? The Wolf Queen? I'm guessing it is. Yeah. So, she's going to be throwing undead at me. No, no oh yeah, no, once I die, she'll re resurrect me as a servant. Stage one in that plan, of course. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I so did not do any damage at all. You don't think that spell could come in handy, do you? Alright, we've got Sneaky Undead. I probably looked right at him. <sighs> Too busy looking at the floor. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to rely on a spell to drive undead off. I think I'm going to rely on indigo. This dagger really did not seem, seem to do much at all. That's just wrong. That is just wrong. You know that's a necromancer, don't you? You know that is a necromancer. Necromancers should not be humming cheerfully. Okay. All right. Just... Okay. Do not take too long. I'll try my best. There is a hammer on the floor. Has my... It has. I don't want to use it until I have to. Although, I'm getting the feeling Steel balance. Do I have a steel balance? Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Please tell me that. Vampire? Oh, not good. Not good. Oh. Okay. Dane is immune to the potion of slow. Okay. Vampires. That is not. Good. East Nine Sword already got one. Hooded Robe of Calamities. When health falls below 25%, 20% chance to release an explosion. That seems a little... insane. Witch Plate. Oh, 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 oh. Do I've... I'm pretty sure we've got one of these. I can't remember if we had the complete set. No, I shouldn't be thinking of things like that at a time like this, but hey, I'm a relic hunter. It's the sort of thing we think about. Okay, so not just necromancers, vampires. Oil. Doing. 
Are you just walking carefully because you, you're afraid you're going to slip? Fair enough. Be careful. Draugr. Just what the world needed. S Ooh. Safit of Thieves. Nice. Oh. I really, for some odd reason, suddenly had like a little memo to self moment. And that memo to self moment was keep your eye open for the uh, Wolf Queen book, volume six. Why is my brain doing that at a time like this? Have I become obsessed with collecting things? Or is it a self-defense mechanism? Oh, no. Talking of self-defense mechanisms. Something seen us? Is he chained? Okay. Fire trap? Maybe there's a sword there. He's using it to uh, hide his um modesty. I'm thinking we leave it. It, it. Oh god! It didn't look like a very valuable sword, did it? Let's leave that. Oh, okay. Okay. What do you need? Come back safe. Okay, it still freaks me out the way the eyes come to life just as they die. there without being spotted? No, I'm not. Unless... Time to bloody clear my throat. <coughs> Mr. Drawker, please turn around. Oh. Ah. Are you coming? I will, of course, fix the thirst situation. Now, these guys don't seem that hard to kill from behind. But they were surprisingly resilient when I hit them 
in the face. Necromancers do like their steep stairs, don't they? Because I seem to remember the... Oh, Stay there. Stay there. Yes. I will be here when you return. Visibility potions if I can possibly help it. Come on. Come back. Oh my. Oh, that's a vampire. That is a vampire. Oh, I can pickpocket a vampire. It doesn't seem particularly useful. They are immune to poisons. A mist walker. Primitive Nord Heavy Boots. Okay, I don't know if I need that for anything, but I don't think so. It's not very valuable. Oh god, really? Can it see me? Can it see me? It's dark. It's really dark. No. It sensed my presence. All right. Wait. Does this mean the person humming was a bloody vampire? I can't disable her. There's the trap bit. Okay. Bit of a mess. Oh. And this entire place is underneath Solitude. Mind you, I guess Solitude is a giant bloody rock sticking out. There's a little side of me wants to check behind the waterfall because you should always check behind the waterfall. Oh god. Oh, okay. I have a feeling we're not getting past him. Okay. What is the plan? Get his attention. Or shoot him. Show off. 